Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you for joining us right again here at Herbal Gardens Homestead. Man, I tell you what, I've had a terrible night. It was unbelievable. Um, I was literally outside. I was so scared that uh, there was going to be some, um, <clears throat> I thought there was going to be some, like, really cold weather to the point to where it would, like, damage some of my stuff. <laughs> My dog's over there. You hear him? Uh, yeah, I got a new. I got a new. Uh, I got a new puppy. He's a Australian cattle dog. He's really cool. He's a blue healer. I don't know if you all know what that is. I know you do, Eric. Uh, just thought I would say, you know, hi to everybody. And... Hey, let's go. Let's go. Say, I had to tie him up. Uh, because I didn't want him running over all of this stuff that I'm about to show you. So, hey, let's let's sneak over there and see him. Well, here he is. He's an Australian cattle dog. He's a blue healer, and he is awesome. Uh, one thing that I've noticed about him is that he has, like, some really, really cool colors. Because normally a lot of cattle dogs, the Australian cattle dogs, the blue healers will have, like, you know, brown dots and things like that. But the thing is... His mom and dad had some really, really uh, cool descendants. Like, they're descendants of a line that has silver everywhere. So, the, he's got the silver paws. He's got the silver, you know, back and stuff like that. And anyway, here he is. Let me introduce you to Max. Hey, Max. How you doing? Huh? How you doing? How you doing? What you up to? <laughs> you are so awesome. Hey, what's going on? Huh? Yeah. I know. I know. Give me, shake my hand. Oh, no, don't bite my ball. Shake my hand. There you go. That's it. You're a good boy. Anyway, let me get back to telling these people about some of the herbs that I went and collected, okay? So you play with your pumpkin. Hey, this is his pumpkin right here. Isn't that cool? Here you go, bud. Play with your pumpkin. And I'll get back to you in a little bit, all right? All right? He makes all these squeeze, squeaky noises. There you go. All right, I'll untie you as soon as I'm done with this video, all right? Say, I'll see you later, people. Say, I'll see you later, people. <laughs> anyway, that's Max. That's my boy. I've been training him and stuff like that to sit and stay and all different types of stuff. And I thought it would thought it would be cool to introduce you to him. So anyway, like I was saying, I was going out and I was like, uh, I was out pretty late harvesting a, a lot of herbs. And I, I mean, I, I, I grabbed a whole bunch because I got scared that the weather was just going to co go. I was going to go out there and stuff was going to be dead. But I know there's some, you know, frost hardy herbs that I have here. I've showed you in other videos last year and, um, you know, last winter time and for fall. Uh, but I went ahead and I grabbed a bunch. I just want to show you. And I'm going to be making some medicinal blends and things like that with these stuff because, the, you know, that's, that's how I make some money. So... Let me show you what I got here. Right here, we have a whole bunch. Oh my goodness. We got a whole bunch of it. I I mean, I got a lot of separation I got to do. And, uh, but this is uh, lemon thyme. This is lemon thyme. But, oh my goodness, the smell is amazing. Love it. It's got some really good medicinal properties and benefits. So let's move on to the next thing. Right here, we have some really nice sage. It's uh, It's been laying out all night since I took it out of the garden. Got a whole bunch of it here. Um, I really, I really like making sure that I have the things that I need, you know, before the winter comes and just basically vanquishes everything. And, uh, you know, sage also has a lot of really nice medicinal properties. 
This is the sage. I know you guys know what this is. This is lemon balm. This is a... I got a whole bunch of this. It's really good for you. I love it. Especially in a nice tea. Oh, yeah. It's really good. But I got a whole bunch of it. And, uh, I mean, this isn't even all I have. I, I've been harvesting through the throughout the the year so that I can make sure that I have enough. That's my lemon balm. I know you guys know what this is. Oh yeah, this is a really good herb for your cognitive thinking. This right here is rosemary. I got a bunch of it over here too. Jeez, Pete. I got a whole thing full of it over here. I, I had to mix some of some of it. I had to mix some of it uh, with with my um, the end. Another herb that I grabbed because I needed the 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 bucket or the plastic bin. Do you see there? And but I grabbed a whole. Oh my gosh! You can you, you can see it. Look at all that. This is all rosemary, and yes, I sure do have a lot of it. Got a lot of it, and. Um, I'm gonna be drying this out. Yeah. Wow, love that smell. And this, like I said, is my rosemary that I collected. I'm gonna probably have to go back and get some more, but this is the rosemary. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are aware of what this is. I've showed you, I've showed you a bunch of times. This right here is my African blue basil. I did get a lot of it and I just had to get more because I wanted to make sure. I mean, I almost cut, uh, I, I think I cut an, an entire bush down, but I'm really glad that I was able to get more of that so I can dry out the leaves, some good medicinal properties and that also. I know what you're thinking. This kind of looks like the uh, one I showed you the first time. Well, it's not. This is German time. It's a big difference between the other one. They both, you know, they both have a, a smell that is just completely awesome. They both have great health benefits. You, let me, let, you know what, let me show you the difference. You, do you see these leaves? Okay, look at these leaves right there. Okay, now watch. I'm going to show you the lemon time. Okay, you see, now, these leaves look sharp. See that? See those leaves? Now look at these, they're more round. See, can you see the difference? Rounded, see look like that, and then sharp. See the difference? Sharp, rounded, and that's the difference. Some people said they didn't know the difference, but there it is. So this is a lot of the German thyme that I was able to harvest, which is really awesome. Well, that was a pretty large amount of herbs that I've collected. If you were standing right here, you know, it would probably look a little different than what you are actually seeing through the camera. I have a couple more I'm gonna show you. And then we got this one right here. We got a couple more to show you. And then we'll be right back. Look at this right here. This is uh, called Leaf of Life. And it's also known as Cathedral Bell. Look at this right here. This right here is a plant from the Caribbean. I really like it. It's got a lot of medicinal properties to it. And it's a really cool leaf. That it's really thick. And <clears throat> I grind up the, the stems and everything. And you can, you can see that they're, they're really thick also. Very good medicinal properties in this. In the Caribbean, they call it leaf of life. 
and I have a lot of this that I dehydrate. It takes a few days because of how thick it is. I mean, it's, it's almost like a, like a, almost like a rubber, but it is really good for you. That is Leaf of Life. Right here is something that a lot of people would never even think about. But I have been known to make some great teas out of this. And yes, medicinal properties. Absolutely. This, my friends, is bamboo leaves. That's right. Some people don't know this, but bamboo leaves are medicinal. I have a couple bags of it that I got. And it's great in a tea blend. And it also has a lot of medicinal properties. Well, my friends, this right here is called sweet basil. And I love it. It's very good for you. And this is the same basil that I made the basil iced tea in a few videos back. If you go back and look at the show's show list, you'll find um, how I show you how to make iced tea out of basil like my grandmother used to. But I wanted to show you that also. And it is really good. I mean, I, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about making some more myself. Well, that was a, a bunch of uh, herbs that I collected. And I'm really happy that you were able to see them. And I was going to go ahead and tell you some of the herbal benefits, uh, the health benefits from each of the herbs that I just showed you. But I decided... I'm going to wait till next time and I'm going to go and do a part two to this and show you some of, uh, tell you some of the health benefits of the herbs that I just showed you. So I wanted to say th thank you very much for joining us right here at Herbal Gardens Homestead. And I wanted to say thank you all who has subscribed to this channel. Thank you very much. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, go ahead and go subscribe so that you can be part of our family here at Herbal Gardens Homestead on our YouTube channel. So just remember, love your land and it'll love you back. Take care. See you next.